The United States has once again expressed support for Korea in its diplomatic row with Japan over history. U.S. Ambassador to South Korea Mark Lippert said Washington understands that Japan's wartime sexual enslavement of Korean women is a highly charged issue. Hwang Sung-hee reports. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's seemingly unapologetic attitude about Japan's wartime atrocities is drawing concerns from the United States. In an interview on Tuesday, U.S. Ambassador to South Korea Mark Lippert recognized the gravity of the so-called comfort women issue. Um, the President of the United States, when he was here in April, uh, called the, the treatment uh, shocking. Um, so we, we, um, we, we know that it's, it's tough and a very emotional issue. The unresolved matter of Japan's wartime sexual enslavement of Korean women has been the biggest thorn in Seoul and Tokyo's bilateral ties. Abe stirred things up this week by hinting that his so-called Abe statement may drop words of apology used in statements by his predecessors. He is set to unveil it this summer to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the end of World War II. Lippert expressed U.S. support for the existing Kono and Murayama statements and addressed President Park Geun-hye's recent efforts to mend ties. We found that uh, President Park's recent proposal of a trilateral foreign minister meeting uh, as a constructive step that could possibly lead to a trilateral summit. The ambassador welcomed Seoul's efforts to improve relations with Pyongyang, saying the U.S. has no concerns with the speed or scope of the inter-Korean dialogue proposed by President Park. And when will Washington be ready to engage with a communist state? That, he said, is when the North is willing to take steps for a complete, irreversible, verifiable denuclearization of the Korean peninsula. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.